So in this video we're going to talk about Thingrief which is a online flight planning management system whatever you want to call it and so what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new flight and this will be the flight the flight plan that takes us from Halifax to Nova Scotia so the first thing you want to do is you want to press the create new flight button and you'll be presented with a page like this so you then choose your airline so in this case we'll go BA British Airways put a flight number in at 191 now departure airport will be CYHZ CYHZ that will be Halifax and then our arrival airport will be CYQB and our alternative airport which will be CYUL which I haven't checked up to see where that is yet so that's basically your, your airline, your flight number, your departure, your arrival, your alternate airport the date you intend to go and the time you intend to depart you then click in your airframe you will then choose the aircraft that you wish to fly in this case we will be flying an A320 this version the 25 1N you select that in there you don't worry about anything in any of this unless you particularly want to change it or you know exactly what you're doing uh, you scroll down the page and you'll get to route or oh, go back to actually we'll go back to the Eric cycle so the Eric cycle that you get with Microsoft Flight Simulator isn't current here it's about a year out of date if you want to take the current version so it's exactly the same as in the flight simulator you need to sign up to navdata I think it is navdata.com and then you can sign up and then you'll get the most up to date one so we move on to the route so this is the route it's given me we'll be departing now and we'll be going via these four waypoints for a, a, a rivals rivals point after we passed home far one there's several to choose from you can choose any of these extra routes down on the right hand side but I'll, I'll just stick with that one if you've done that you want to analyze your route and scroll down the page and then you will see your route on this map we'll zoom in a little bit so we're going from Nova Scotia here along here up to through Maine to this point where we will make the right turn into Quebec and you can see the alternate airport now we know it's Montreal which is down there should anything go wrong while we're flying uh, well once we once we so that's that's now all done so we then then we need to go up to the top here to dispatch options and we need to generate the flight click yes That's now created our flight, and all we need to do now is to download the flight. So we find Flight Sim 20, click the download button, and that will save the file into a, a folder, which is which is here in uh, uh, documents. Um, I, I, for reference, will not actually take that at the moment because what I intend to do here is we'll shut this down now so you've got all your information here but this will all be displayed inside the monitor at, on a later video so once that's done you can close that down and that pretty much shows how you create a flight plan for your aircraft that you are choosing to fly